Hey guys, how you going? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about the window.parent property in JavaScript. So basically this property is commonly used with iframes and it lets the embedded frame actually access the parent window object of the um, containing HTML page. And this of course lets you access the document object of that page which may come in handy. So. How does it actually work? Well, I've got this um, Visual Studio or this, this directory open right now. I'm going to make a new index HTML page and this will be the parent main HTML. So let's just say index.html right here. Inside here, let's just put some basic HTML. We'll get a structure happening. Okay. And we'll call this one main HTML page. Okay. So now, Within this page, if I just refresh the browser, we get this right here. I know um, I'm actually just going to make an iframe inside here. Now I'm going to type out iframe like that um, and set the source of this iframe to a local file in the same directory. So for example, let's just say source is going to be content.html. Let's make the frame border to one so we can see what's actually happening. If I was to now save this HTML page, refresh the browser, we get this right here. I'll just make this window a bit bigger. Let's just give it a style, a bit of width of 600 and a height of 300. Okay. So now we have this. Um, we can now actually make this uh, let's just change my keyboard layout real quick. Okay. Uh, we can we can make this content HTML file. So if I was to make a new file relative to this directory called content.html. Okay. Within this one, it's gonna be a standard HTML page once again. So I'm gonna type out HTML and get the standard template happening. Let's format that. And now for this title, let's say something like embedded HTML. Okay inside the body, let's just print out some dummy text. Okay. If I was to now save this, we have the content HTML page and the index embedding content.html. If I save this and refresh the browser, we get this right here. Okay. So now, um, we can now access the window.parent property from within this iframe. And that'll give us access to this entire window um, JavaScript object of the parent HTML page. So within the HTML code of the containing content HTML page, um, we actually want to write some JavaScript. So let's type out script here and then say console.log. We're going to log out window parent. As you can see here, this will actually return a window object. If I was to now save this and refresh the main HTML page, in the console of the main page, we can see we get the window object logged out to the console. Expanding this gives us all the standard properties, including the document right there. Now you can see this is actually coming from the, the iframe. Because in the JavaScript console, it says content.html right there as the actual source. Okay. So with this in mind, we can actually, for example, access some elements from the, um, the parent HTML page. So for example, back inside the code, if I was to go inside the index HTML page and make a header let's say h1 and give it an ID of heading. Okay. Inside here, let's just say, okay, and this is the main HTML page. Okay. Saving this will of course give us this in the browser. Now we're actually going to get the text from this page and put it dynamically from here into here. Okay. So we can do this by going back inside the code here and within the script of the containing embedded HTML page, 
we can first get a reference to the document object of the parent HTML. So let's make a new constant down here and call this one, um, let's just say parent document equal to window dot parent dot document. Okay, so this right here is the same as typing out, hold on, the same as typing out document inside here. So that document object right there is going to be the same as window.parent.document in the embedded HTML page because parent refers to this right here. Okay, so this means with this now, I can actually do this. Let's make a new constant called um, parent heading, okay? Equal to parent document dot get element by ID and pass in heading right there. So this is actually that variable right there, or that constant right there, is now referring to that one right there. We're getting the element with the ID of heading on the parent page right there. If I was to save this and refresh the browser, in the console, we get nothing. Let's just console.log that right there. So console.log parent heading. Okay, let's try that again. Save that, refresh. Now we get h1 heading. Now, this means I can now refer to the current document on this file and then append this text to the actual paragraph tag. So let's do that right now. Let's first get a reference to the paragraph tag. So let's give an ID of something like um, PARA and then say const PARA para equals document dot get element by ID and pass in para right there. So now we have this para HTML tag we can now simply do this para dot text content okay equals para dot text content plus parent heading dot text content okay let's give it a that so now we are appending to the paragraph tag the text content of the parent h1 tag if I was to finally save this one and refresh the browser, what do we get? Well, we get this is the main HTML page right there. If I was to actually right click and open this in, uh, in a new tab, let's just go view frame source and then get rid of that. We don't get that extra text because we haven't got that parent HTML page obviously to actually get the text from. And that's how you can use the window.parent property in JavaScript. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.